Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today you join me and Charlotte at home as uh, with, well, we want to do something a little bit different. So me and Charlotte, we're as, among being Disney lovers, we also love Lego. So we're just gonna, to, <laughs> I say love Lego, we, we're just obsessed with it. So um, yeah, so we're at home, just gonna sort of show you guys through our collection so far and the various boxes that we've still got to build. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. Uh, so yeah, we're thinking we might do some videos on some of the various builds, like as we're making them and whatnot and all that good stuff. So let us know if it's something that you might be interested in and uh, yeah, let's get started. So in the conservatory, it is basically Harry Potter based. So we got the big Hogwarts castle, which we got um, last, well, the first lockdown. This was our first big project. Charlotte's got the lights on, even though it's daytime, you can't really see much. But yeah, this this is the only kit that we've got a um, a light kit for. Well, so far anyway. You will be doing all future light kits. Yeah, Charlotte wasn't really much of a fan of the, the light kits. I think I need to, there's one strip here that's not working, so I need to fiddle about with the wires a little bit as um, the wires are extremely tiny in this. I don't know if you can really make out how small they are, but yeah, they, if you get it like pinched or anything like that, they just don't like it. So you have to fiddle about with them a little bit, but what I'll probably do is I'll overlay uh, a clip of this at night, showing off uh, all the light. So here we've got the castle at night time. As you can see, there's that one strip there that I still need to adjust. Did, oh, what the hell's... Okay, fixed it. Cut now. I mean, um, what the hell is going... I'm not even touching it, I'm just getting my finger close and... But yeah, so that needs adjusting to so that they work properly. But yeah, so... Basically the kit that we've got replaces certain parts. So here would have just been um, a yellow uh, transparent thing that goes on top but it's got a built-in LED and then in all the windows you've got the LEDs, you've got the the lights down here where the boat is, just all throughout the castle. So you've got these two here that um, just light up the, from behind the bridge and just gives it that little bit of ambience there. And then if we come round all of the rooms are all lit up as well. Uh, it's all really cool. And then like, you've got the Chamber of Secrets there. This is a real struggle to get around because it is still pretty big, but yeah, everything's all lit up. You've even got the dragon's teeth, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if it's meant to be like it's breathing fire. I assume that is the case now that I've said it out loud. But yeah, so it is a really cool light kit. So like I said, this is our only one that we've got lights for at the moment. I'm probably gonna end up getting more for some of the other ones because it just makes it look cool at night. I mean, we rarely turn it on, but when we do, it just does look awesome. So back to me from the past with the rest of the collection. And within the cupboard itself, got over here Hagrid with Buckbeak, one of the uh, Brickheads, which are awesome. Got Hagrid's hut, and I forgot to put my phone on silent, silly me, let's do that quickly. Yeet. Uh, what's that, the poly, no, 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 no uh, that's, room of requirement. Yes, yeah, the room of requirement when they're doing the uh, Double Army. Oh, that was lessons. it, yeah. Then Patronus. we've got yeah, that's it. One of the various Patronuses. Then we've got Bellatrix, Voldemort, and Nagini. Again, the Brickheads come down here. You can clearly tell we've got Hagrid, Harry, Ron, and Hermione. Again, the Brickheads. We just love these. We've got uh, a few more of these to build as well. Not Harry Potter ones, but, um, well, you'll see them later. Then we've got the Night Bus. This is another cool one. I'm pretty sure it opens up somewhere, but I can never remember. What? Oh, it doesn't. Oh, never mind then. <laughs> You're wrong. Brain fart. Are you sure? Aha! Oh. You're breaking it. I oh, know that the roof just comes off. Never mind. Okay, we'll just uh, 
leave him alone. <laughs> then we've got Private Drive. We've got the Ford Anglia here, yeeting the chains off of a scared Harry in the window. So you'll see in the other room, I've put like a, a chrome vinyl on the back. So I'm probably gonna do it on here so that you can see like the backs of, um, of some of these as they're pretty cool. Uh, down here, we've got forks. Oh, which if we do that, you can actually make him fly, which is awesome. Doing it, but it's so hard to do one handed, but you've seen him do it once. <laughs> now we've got the chess set. This is really cool because obviously you can actually play chess with these. And over here we've got Hedwig, so Charlotte's gonna make him fly. <laughs> there we go. So basically Hedwig and Forks both do the same. But yeah, they're, they're really cool. Even though it's got like broken wing now. <laughs> then over here, we've got Diagon Alley. Now again, this was such an awesome one to build. Just everything about it. I think I was building Ollivander's and yeah, I've done Ollivander's, Charlotte done the Quidditch supplies. Then Charlotte done this bit and I done this bit. And yeah, this was just such another cool build. There's just so many bits to it. Again, I want to put a chrome vinyl at the back of this because obviously that way you don't see through, but you also see the backs of all the buildings because there's like a lot of um, basically everything on the floors. There's just so much in there. So it's nice to see that. I'm all, it would be almost quite nice to get a second one of these to build and then just have the back on show. But uh, that's just a lot of space and uh, we can, we don't really have the space for it. Then down here we've got, that's the attack on the burrow, wasn't it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So when Bellatrix and all the Death Eaters are going out in the poor Weasley's house. Then, what one was this? Oh, um, this Fluffy. A, yeah, this is a Philosopher's Stone. So again, it's just, I just love the Lego builds because they've just got all the right details in them and they're just so cool. Uh, we've got a print from a friend, a tattooist of ours. So he lives in the back there. And then, I can't remember what this was. I think this was the ones where there's various kits that you can put together, um, which then make it similar to, to actual Hogwarts, but sort of bigger. Whereas if we go back to actual Hogwarts, you can see there's all the details, but everything's small including the minifigs, whereas this is like a, a bigger blown up version of everything. We've got the Whomping Willow, Astronomy Tower, Great Hall, all of that good stuff. We've got Hagrid on the boat with the chappies. So, <laughs> well they are, they're, they're, they're the happy little chappies. <laughs> so basically that's the, oh, oh Harry, Jesus. Harry and Ginny, you want stuff. I'm not a monster. <laughs> See, she's calling me a monster because I call them happy chappies instead of Harry and Ginny. But um, yeah, so that's all the Harry Potter stuff we have built at the moment. As you can see, there's some more stuff in the background here and down there. So while I show you the other collections, Charlotte's gonna try her best to get some of this stuff out so we can show you. So if we head into the living room, in the TV stand, we've got our, my vehicles because I'm a car nut, so I love all of this. So we've got the Nissan GTR Nismo. Now I bought one ages ago and built it. And then for my birthday, was it this year? Yeah, it was this year. Um, my Charlotte and my family had a, a cake made, like Lego inspired. I'll see if I've got any photos of it. But um, yeah, there was another GTR Nismo on top. So now I've got the two of them on show. Ooh, the bonnet was open on that one. So yeah, so it shows the front and the back at the same time, which is cool. In the back, we've got uh, an old 911 Turbo. Over here, we've got an F8 Tributo. And then again, we've got two F40s, but because you can build them slightly differently, I've done both variants. So I've got, I can't remember if it's the LM version or not, uh, but yeah, we've got the normal one and the other version. Then we've got the Top Gear uh, I can never remember what it's called, but the Stig one, which is, this is actually remote controlled through the app. So you can see the batteries in here. It doesn't really drive very fast, but it's a cool little concept. Then we got 
Is that a Supra? It is indeed. <laughs> I, I love this one. I just love everything about these like Lego collections. We've got the Koenigsegg Yesco and the Audi Quattro in the back there. It's yeah. Uh, oh, there we go. It's auto focusing now. This is, I don't know if you'll notice, this is a slightly different camera than uh, on the boat. So, in here we've got the Dodge Charger, the Dominic Toretto one from Fast and Furious. Then, up here we've got my McLaren shelf. So, fun fact about me, I actually do work for McLaren. Uh, we do their private track day events and whatnot, I do all the stickers and graphics for them. So we've got the Senna GTR up here, the McLaren Elva, the McLaren Senna road car, and the teeny tiny Elva that was uh, on offer that when we went to the Lego store last time, we got given one of them for spending over 45 pounds or whatever. Then over here we've got the, oops, if I open that, ding, ding, we can open it completely. Up here, we've got the 911, now this one was, this was actually my first big build. So I just fell in love with like the Technic stuff, just where everything is movable. I mean, the tires is kind of stuck there, but you spin the wheel, turns the tires a lot, the doors open. You move it backwards and forwards and you can't really see, but the engine you see all the pistons moving up and down. But yeah, these are just such cool builds. Sion, the Lamborghini. Again, just everything opens up. It's even got, uh, oops, I opened it up too much. It's even got its own sort of uh, luggage that fits in the front. In there, and then if I can remember where the buttons are for everything. The button here that opens the doors. Again, the steering wheel. There is, nope, that changes something, but I can't remember where. There was a button that I cannot remember where it is now, but basically the spoiler goes up and down. Does this open as well? I'm pretty sure it did. Yeah, you can sort of see in there as well where the engine is. And again, when the car's going backwards and forwards, you do see the engine. Aha, there it is. So there's a little lever and it lifts and lowers the spoiler. Then down here we've got the 488 uh, race version. Again, every, doors open, the lot. So that's what I really like with these cars. Just so many moving parts and as you're building it, you just see all of it. Now down here is probably one of the coolest builds. It's a bit smaller, but it's the um, Aston Martin DBS, uh, DBS, DB5. So the James Bond one. So again, everything's moving, but uh, where is it? I can never, there we go, bonnet opens forwards, You've got like the engine on show, whoops, there is a lever that I can pull back here and basically it pops open the roof and it's got a ejecto seato in there, so I won't do it because it's just going to ping into glass there, there's another lever somewhere else. Is it this one? Uh, one of these spin. Oh, boot opens. Got your cool stuff in the boot. There is a button that I cannot remember for the life of me where it is. Yeah, there we go. This one you spin around. And basically, why is it not? But yeah, it's got like the sort of bullet shield there. I need to go for it all and check it. Uh, the number plates all spin round as well, like full Bond style. There was another button somewhere, but I really can't remember, where the headlights spin round and you've got the machine guns pop out. So, I, I, need, to, <laughs> I need to find where the booklet is, because <laughs> there's just so much cool stuff of this. Is it that? Aha, there we go. So I don't know how well you can see that. And yeah, so these are really cool. I wanna know why this isn't working. 
All right, I'll worry about that later. <laughs> and finally, around here, we've got the Disney castle. So as you can see what I meant, that was the um, chrome vinyl that I wrapped. So you can more or less see in the back of the Disney castle at the same time as the front. So here you've got the little fireworks that pop out. Again, there's a button which I really have no idea where it is anymore, but it just fires them out before it hits you in the face. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, no, no. 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 I'm not going to lose an eye. No. So we've got the mini figs. Over here we've got the Walt Disney with Castle Funko Pop vinyl. Did you just break it? No, it was did, hanging off. Did you? No, it was already hanging off. It was hanging off. Yeah. A likely story, <laughs> <Yes>. Charlotte. <laughs> So uh, this was a Funko Pop vinyl that our neighbours have as well. Uh, it took us ages to find this, but we eventually got one. Uh, I did. Oh, Charlotte, okay. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> Charlotte, thank you very much. <laughs> Running away! <laughs> so yeah, um, we don't usually unbox our Funko Pops, but this one's a keeper and we've got the box upstairs still, but it just makes sense to have it out on display like that with uh, the Lego. Down here we've got Steamboat Willie as well. So there's a couple of moving parts on here as, as it goes forward and backwards, this, the chimney stacks move, the paddles rotate, this spins round, goes up and down, all that funky stuff. Can I talk them through this next one? You, I was going to say, <laughs> do you want to talk them through Bro Thor? So my, this my is Charlotte's personal favourite. Do you want to take it out? Okay. <laughs> okay. So here we have Bro Thor. You start off with a little welcome to new Asgard, please drive slowly sign. Yep. We have, obviously, Bro Thor. Bro Thor. Got, <laughs> got Pop Buddy Thor. <laughs> when it decides to focus. We always have these focusing issues. Let me try. There we go. Manual focus is the way forward, clearly. And of course, Korg. With his little Xbox controller as well. And a, and a little Meek. Tiny, teeny tiny meat matching to the nails. We got, we got pizza. We got, we got a little, little stormbreaker. <laughs> we got a little newspaper there. Five years after the blip. My favourite bit is this little picture on the wall with, um, with Thor, Valkyrie, Korg, and Meek. There we go. Finally focused. But the creme de la creme. Is the TV screen. Is the TV screen. So once it focuses, it's working on it. There we, we go. We have a tiny little core character, like Minecraft kind of character on screen. Fortnite. For, Fortnite, yeah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Do you mean whatever? <laughs> and, and then Noob Master. Yeah, you might not be able to read it on the camera, but it does say Noob M. Which is Noob Master. Now, if you've seen the film, you know all about Noob Master. <laughs> so yeah, so that's basically all of our built Lego at the moment. Sorry for some of the angles. It's uh, it's a bit of a struggle to uh, <laughs> do this all one-handed while trying to move stuff about. So I need to realign everything or else it's going to do my nothing. But if we head back over to the conservatory now where Charlotte has very kindly gotten all of our <laughs> box Legos out. So these are all the ones still to build. So some of these we've just bought today, which was Donald Brickheads, the Chevy CAR race car, and the Stingray Speed Champions. We've got the two Fiat 500s. We've been after this yellow one for ages, but I've just seen that they released the blue one as well. They're the exact same, just one is yellow and one is blue. So obviously I had to get both. And the four Harry Potter books. So that's what we got today. Uh, and this sailboat was free for today with um, well with the purchases so again like I was saying we've got some more brickheads we've got the infinity gauntlet we've got another big car so it's the Chiron so that's probably once I've built that I still need to fabricate a shelf to go up there probably gonna make it out of acrylic at work so that's gonna go up there then I'm gonna switch these around probably have Bugatti up top Lambo then Porsche and the Ferrari as they slightly get a little bit smaller as they go down. Then down here I'm going to have the two Fiat 500s together. Just uh, looking at each other because I mean just look at them they're cool. They're cool as hell. So this is our only Star Wars one to be fair. 
but um, I really want more of the Star Wars ones, but we don't really have much space for them. To be fair, we don't have much space for all of this, but <laughs> we're just going to make it work. But I really would love um, some of the bigger Star Wars ones, but like I said, we just need space for them. We've got a Nintendo SNES, so this has been sitting around for a while, keep meaning to build it, but that's probably going to go and sit underneath the Disney castle, I think. But as you can tell, we, we do love the Harry Potter ones. So we I believe we've got every single Harry Potter Lego, except for the large minifigures of Harry and Hermione. Now we keep going backwards and forwards thinking, do we buy it? Do we not? Because it's just odd that it's just Harry and Hermione without Ron. But we'll probably eventually buy it and find somewhere to put them. But yeah, we've got the various Harry Potter ones. So the Polyjuice Potion Mistake, First Lesson, Clock Tower, The Bigger Chamber of Secrets. There's the Astronomy Tower. So I can't remember what that one is. Uh, the Clock Tower? No. Clock Tower. No, that's Clock Tower. Um, what one is it? Eh. I don't know. Well, have we bought two? No, we've not bought two because they're both different to that. <laughs> or is that just part of the great... I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Then we've got Hogwarts Express and Hogsmeade Village. And we do have one last speed champion. Now this one took me ages to find. I eventually managed to find one on Amazon. It's the McLaren 720S. So that's gonna go and sit with the other McLarens on the McLaren shelf. But yeah, so that's basically all of our Lego collection so far. And uh, yeah, so let us know if you guys would be interested in if me and Charlotte do some vlog style videos of us building these things. We may be thinking of um, doing like a build off <laughs> style video with the two Fiat 500s. I already know I'm gonna lose, but I'll try. There is that. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're the exact same build and everything, like I mentioned, just different colors. So it's not like one's easier to build than the other or anything like that. So we're thinking we might do that. But yeah, if, if it is something you guys are interested in, what, what do you want to see us build more? So. We'll be replying to all comments all the time anyway, but yeah, just leave a comment down below. What's your favorite one out of what we've still got to build or that we've already built? And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, it's been a bit of a long video, but uh, we've got a lot of Lego, I guess. <laughs> we have a lot of Lego. When we start talking about all the Lego we've got and we lay it out like this, we just realize how much Lego we do really have. It's a good job. I'm good at Tetris. There is that. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I, I hope you guys have enjoyed and if you could li leave the video a like and subscribe to the channel, that would be a great help. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>